This meditation is perfect for when you feel overworked and overwhelmed and you're ready to slow down and tap into the energy of nourishment, rest, and the power of the feminine. Hi everyone and welcome back to How the Wise One Grows, where we have mindful conversations and meditations that help you live with intention. In our last episode, episode 107, we spoke with Yasmin Idris about the journey of becoming the first Saudi Arab woman to cycle the ring road in Iceland. And the secret to her success is actually different than you might think. If you missed that episode, you need to go back and listen. Today's meditation is inspired by it. In that episode, Yasmin shares about her journey and the profound role of the feminine energy in achieving this goal and the continual process of becoming. And inspired by that episode, today's meditation is here to help us tap into the power of feminine and yin energy. This is an episode that you can come back to again and again anytime you feel like you need a reset, anytime you want to tap into the power of that feminine energy. There is a timestamp in the show notes so you can download this episode and go straight to where the meditation begins. It's a five minute meditation that you can do anytime, anywhere. But before we dive in, I have a couple of quick updates for you. If you love these meditations on how the wise one grows, I have a really exciting offering for you. I am now offering personalized meditations. So you can get a custom meditation made just for you to gift yourself with or one for a loved one. Each of these meditations are made at the length you request and are designed to meet your specific needs, intentions, and current situation. All the details are on my website, which is linked in the show notes. I'm also really excited to share that I am now offering one-on-one intentional living mentorship and coaching. So we can work together and use the modalities of yoga and mindfulness to help you learn how to deal with stressors, strengthen your relationship with yourself, and mindfully move towards your goals and the way you want to be in this world. So if you want to book a complimentary connection call to see if this is the right fit for you, there's a link in the show notes as well. I also want to take a moment to thank the beautiful beaming members of our dream team who support the podcast every single month. You can join the dream team for as little as $3 a month, and that helps to support the operating costs of this podcast that make it possible. There's a link in the show notes to join. We would love to have you join the dream team and thank you for making this offering possible. And one final thing. You can also join our intentional living community where we continue the conversations we have on the podcast and show up each week to share what it means to live with intention. This community is totally free and there's a link in the show notes to join. And now that's enough of announcements. Find a space that feels safe and supportive for you for your practice today if you haven't already. And let's start to land here together by using the senses. So just start by using your sense of sight to notice where you are right now. And just notice the objects around you. If you aren't driving and it feels safe, you can gently rest your eyes or soften your gaze at a point in front of you. Notice any sounds that you can hear. Notice where your body makes contact with the earth. Notice if there's any smells that you notice at any taste. And take a big breath in and a big breath out. Two more. Inhale, fill your chest, fill your belly with air. And exhale, open your mouth, let it out. Again, 
Inhale, chest and belly expand. And exhale, let it all out. And gently draw your awareness to where in the body you feel the breath. And allow yourself to experience the sensations as the breath flows in and as it flows out. So today's meditation, we're going to invite in some meridian points. So for those who are unfamiliar, I'm going to give you the quickest Reader's Digest explanation. But meridians are energy pathways in the body that we can work with to support our mental and physical health. And in today's meditation, we're going to focus on a point for yin energy and feminine energy. So you've probably heard of the concept of yin and yang before, and we'll just lightly touch on it here for some context. Yin and yang are opposing yet complementary forces in nature. And they work together, they're in constant flux and constant motion to create balance and harmony in everything, in all elements of life. And we can think of masculine and feminine energy in a very similar way. In fact, it's often said that yang energy is associated with masculine energy. Um, it's active, it's assertive, it's about doing and heat. And yin energy is associated with the feminine energy. It's about nourishment, rest, trust, creativity, intuition, faith power. And just like yin and yang are a part of everything, both masculine and feminine energy are too. It's in all people. All of us have both masculine and feminine. So today we're going to focus on a meditation and a meridian point specifically for tapping into our yin energy. So I'm going to help you find a point on the body and give you a breath to work with as we talk a little bit more about this and lean in. We live in a world where there is a heavy emphasis on the yang energy, the energy of doing, of pushing, of working harder. The masculine really dominates. And we can tap into a deeper power and a deeper sense of fullness when we invite in the yin energy and the energy of the feminine, as Yasmin talked about in episode 107. So today I want us to find that yin, that feminine energy and tap into her and offer yourself the gifts that live there. So to do so, I invite you to begin by finding a point on the body called spleen six or three yin crossing. And if you're unable to physically touch your body, you can visualize this. So to find this point, you'll bring your four fingers together and place them on the inner side of your shin just above the ankle bone. So you'll notice where you feel that circular ankle bone. Bring those four fingers to rest at the top of the ankle bone. And then right above where your pinky finger meets, you can bring your thumb to press into that area. And you might feel like a little divot or some part of the area that feels tender. That's typically where you want to put pressure. So I invite you to find this point on both the right and left side. And now take a big breath in and a big breath out. And you can keep a continuous pressure on this point. Or you can gently massage this point in circular motions. Just moving that thumb in circles, gently massaging this point. 
And we're also gonna work with the breath here to tap into the energy of the feminine and the yin. By lengthening our exhale for twice as long as we inhale. So inhale, fill your chest, fill your belly with air. And exhale, open your mouth, let it out. Good. Take a long, slow inhale, followed by a longer, slower exhale. And pause. Long, slow inhalation. Longer, slower exhalation. And pause. Long, slow inhale. Longer, slower exhale and pause and continue to breathe in this way deepening the exhale as you breathe allowing that exhale to be longer than the inhale tapping into the parasympathetic nervous system communicating to the body and the mind that you are safe you can relax. In this point, spleen six or three in crossing is where the liver, spleen, and kidney meridians meet. It has a lot of benefits. We're not gonna go into all of them today. But the benefit we're going to focus on particularly is that it's helpful for dealing with yin deficiency, which can result in hormonal imbalance. So a yin deficiency occurs when we're living in that emphasis of yang energy. Our mind keeps racing, we keep rushing, we keep going, we keep doing. So much so that our hormones fall out of balance, our body falls out of balance. And we need to invite in that rest and that yin yet again. So as you continue to breathe here and massage into this point, continue to focus on that exhale. and that energy of yin. The energy of creativity, trust, nourishment, rest, intuition, faith, and power. Letting yourself drop into stillness. And as you focus on the breath and sending it to this point. can slowly release pressure from that point on the body and release control over the breath 
And again, gently scan your body from head to toe and notice how the body feels and the mind feels. And if it's any different from when we began, And bring your hands to heart center. Offer yourself a moment of gratitude for having the courage and compassion to tend to your body, mind, and spirit through practice today. And for allowing yourself to tap into the power of the yin and the feminine. Let's take one more breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And you can slowly open your eyes as you return to this space.